welcome back. Here we have Carrie, Alex, Adam, and Aggie. And you, I understand that you all are doing a produce stand. And I don't know who wants to speak first, but why don't you tell us a little bit about where the idea came from and, and how you're doing with that. Alex, go out. Well, back out in Washington, um, we would recycle and mm -hmm. we would also do things to help our community. And so we decided when we moved here that we would do the same thing back out in Washington. Like at first we started making goodie bags uh -huh. to um, donate the money to Share and Care. So. so you sell, I mean, do you grow all this in your own garden? Yeah, Everything that's it's right in our backyard. Dang it, I wish I'd known that. Now, no. what, what all kind of different produce do you have in your backyard? Uh, now, like what are those? We have raspberries, and we make, like... I'll hold them for you. Make, make jelly. You make jelly? What kind of jelly? Uh, raspberry and it? Uh, blackberry Blackberry. Jelly. So you have blackberries, too. Mm -hmm. Blackberries are my grandpa's house. They go pick them and make the blackberries. Just give her the microphone. I can't hear mom. you over there, Carrie. So you go to your grandfather's house? Is that right? For the blackberries. We go to my grandpa's house, and we okay. pick those, and... Um, then we render the juice and make the jelly out of it. But everything that we make is either from our garden or from a friend's garden or mm -hmm. orchard or whatever. So, um, but we have a lot of different types of produce. Such as, why don't you know? Well, the raspberries are what we have right now. We just got a lot of spinach, Swiss chard, lettuce. Um, we have about 40 different types of tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes that we grow. Mm -hmm. Um, but those are, you have to wait for them to be right, right before. Oh, now the yeah. raspberries are, are growing now. Yeah, we've got and a lot the of blackberries will come in. Green a few, beans, yeah. purple beans, yeah. red beans, yellow beans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who tends the garden? We all do. Mm. It's a family effort. It would have to be. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I saw your posting on Facebook, and I was really interested in, in getting this on our show uh, because not only are, do, do you have a, a produce stand, but you're not just raising the money for yourself. Tell us about that. Well, the second and fourth Tuesday, thank you, you're so helpful. The second and fourth Tuesday of every month, we do uh, the produce stand out in Southern Hills um, where we have our house. Um, and we sell the produce and a portion of each of, we have a goal for each specific week of how much we'd like to raise for a, a different organization. Mm -hmm. um, and this month, we wanted to support the junior and senior high kids, those that um, their parents may be struggling or mm -hmm. um, they just don't, they just don't, they just can't afford some things right now. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are without jobs or change of finances. Mm -hmm. And so even basic items like toothpaste, toothbrushes, sure. Different, right. sure. Th those aren't real easy to buy. So Alex, you or Adam, you can show we, we, um, our goal this last week was to raise ten dollars and then to be able to use that along with like coupons and ads to purchase toothpaste and toothbrushes and deodorant. And so, so we, you're not buying buying them from a, a warehouse. You're buying them. You're, you're you're using coupons to even save money on on mm -hmm. purchasing the items. Yep. Okay. And so we were we are able to put together those packets and we've got I think enough to do twenty boys and twenty girls packets right now oh, based off good. of Wonderful. what we've done so far. That's yeah. nice. So you say you pick a different charity type each month? Is that what you say? Or yeah. Okay. Um, what, are, what are some... Here. Aggie wants the box. <laughs> wants the you box. hold the end of it right there. Um, next month we're doing hand warmers. We're making those for the different nursing homes. Um, are you personally okay. making those yourself? Yeah, I'm not very good at sewing, but we're gonna. My mom is well, better I'm at it. Sure, I'm sure you'll be okay. So she's gonna she's gonna help us a little bit with that. Um, but we're doing the hand warmers, um, and then the in August we are going to be supporting um, the Humane Society. I'm sorry, it wasn't coming out. We're supporting the Humane Society. We're making mm -hmm. homemade dog treats and cat treats for the Humane Society. Wonderful. As, is this just a, a personal? Uh, effort on your part to do? Is it to, to teach the kids something? I, th uh, I think my kids understand that things don't come easily um, and they've, they've learned that through personal experiences in our household mm -hmm. um, and 
I as, mo as in most households, things yes. don't come that easy. No, and I, I think the most important lesson is that we have to take care of each other in our community. Mm -hmm. We have to take care of each other in our family. Um, and so that's really important to our family. Um, yes, you can talk, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, let, let's tell people where you're located. I mean, they may see this show and say, well, I, I want to go out and get some fresh raspberries. Where, where can, where, how can people find you? Um, well, you can get it up in Southern Hills. So you, you turn go, go up off in the main entrance? Seven or? South, right there by the mission, I don't know the name of it, the church. Right Southern there Hill to the right. Okay. Yeah. And go straight up that hill and yeah, find you. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And you also have a lemonade stand, is that right? Or uh, yeah. That, yeah. We okay. sell uh, coffee, Kool-Aid, oh. uh, and lemonade. Lemonade, And yeah. tea. Sweet tea. Sweet so tea. it's the second and fourth Saturdays. Okay. And Friday. And, Friday. and how, how? Friday. We're going to try to go down to the square some Saturdays if we have the opportunity. Okay. So will this, that, when's schedule. the next sat or next Friday that will? It's not this coming Friday, but the following. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. No. All of my children are gone. <laughs> well, there going you to go. camps and grandma's houses. Okay. And right. All right. Well, I, I, this is very inspiring. I, I appreciate your efforts and, and think this is a great thing. So They all work very hard to do it. They get up really early on Friday mornings and make sure that mm -hmm. they have fresh produce right out of the garden. That's good. Set up their tents and their tables and, you know. So, so whatever's in season, you'll probably have. Throughout the I'll summer. Post it on Facebook. Okay. Okay. You know, as, as I know what we're gonna have. So, Abby wants to say something. I don't. Yeah. What do you? How old are you? Five. Okay. Now, what do you want to say? Um, well, at my produce stand, um, like we sell um, um, uh, pumpkin bread and stuff. Pumpkin, pumpkin bread. bread. Okay. And we also do seasonal baked goods. So oh, if yeah. it's in season, um, or when we we do a lot of flash freezing so when the pumpkins when we had those okay. over the winter okay. um, we carved off all the pumpkins and baked it off and um, we froze it and then we were able to make fresh pumpkin bread and we, have, we make all kinds of different baked goods don't we okay well i'll definitely visit yeah we encourage people to go up to southern you hills bet. that's great and uh, look for the signs and and look for the kids out there fridays every other uh, every twice what what's what's Two, the schedule second, again? second and fourth second friday. And fourth friday okay mm -hmm. and it's from uh Seven to nine. Okay. We don't stay out in the heat too long. I, I don't blame you for that. <laughs> right. so. You can usually catch us out there a little earlier than that, but yeah. okay. for sure seven to nine. Well, we All appreciate right. you coming by. Thanks Great for story. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, guys. Kids. Adam. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it'll get easier as you get older. You'll have to come back. See you next time. It'll be like, you know, not yep. so scary. Bye, Aggie. Where right. are you going? All right. We're going to take a break. <laughs> Everybody's wanting to take a break. And... Uh, <laughs> We're going to talk with Rachel uh, Weaver McNair from Seaport Airlines and some great news that's going on there. And we'll find out all about that when we return. Stay with us.